everyone! Welcome back to my Let's Play of March in Forest, Mjolnay, and the Forest Gift. When we last left off, uh, and I know it's been a hot minute, I do apologize for that, we were struggling to find our way through the sixth layer, uh, room nine, floor nine, whatever you want to call it, and I was sort of getting to, I was getting a little tired, um, and it, I didn't like stop playing because I was like tired of struggling to find my way. That is not the case at all. I was just busy with moving and sort of getting a new job and stuff. Um, but I'm sort of set, oh my god, I'm sort of settled back into my new place and I have good Wi-Fi again. So I should be able to start regu regularly uploading this again. Sorry for the wait on it. Um, I was I had to be pretty selective on how many episodes I could upload a day and I just decided to focus on one series which is Near Replicant just because that was new and it's one that a lot of people were looking forward to. So um, yeah, I went ahead and off screen, I mean I recorded it but I went through and rather than hearing you guys just uh, watch me fumble around and talk and be like ah, I uh, just recorded me going through until I finally found the way out and I'm gonna show it in like a couple seconds or so um, and I'll just speed it up and play it to music and I'll try and cut out uh, the battles just so it's just like me walking around and sort of the rewards from battles um, just so you guys can see uh, the path in case you're using this for a walkthrough or whatnot. Um, it was a struggle but I think I found the path and so I will cut and put that in uh, right about here for you guys to watch but you can feel free to skip it. Sorry, I said that, but then I was like, wait, I need to pause. I don't really need to pause, but I will, uh, you feel free to skip it if you want to. I mean, it's just going to be me walking around to some music. But uh, yeah, so I'll put that right here for real this time.
and now we're back and so uh welcome back now we will go and camp first um but yeah so i'm excited to get back to this game i am still gonna finish it i know it's been a uh, pretty poor upload schedule on my end um but that's just because i was busy well i'm running out of firewood that's not a good sign uh, but yeah, it was uh, hard to find the right way to go uh, here. I don't know why I wasted so much food right there, um, but that's okay. I uh, I think it was like you have to actually walk off the edge next to the swinging axes, I think is where I finally found the exit. And I was just so desperate to just find the exit that I sort of ignored other paths once I saw something that looks somewhat different and that's what I'm sitting in front of right now. I camped because I was like, okay, hopefully this is the way that I was supposed to go. I'm praying. So, I mean, you guys saw uh, it sped up to music if you watched it, but if not, I mean, I leveled up like, God, maybe a bunch of times. Oh, sorry. Did you, she, I don't think she said something new, but, um, and we are going to go into this hopefully new area. If it leads me to another floor where it looks exactly the same, I might cry. But if that's the case, I'll do. I'll cry off camera or off uh, the recording so you don't have to hear that. All right. So as you can see, this looks a little different. Got to remember how to play. Enter the inner sanctum. Sure. Yo, is this like the end? The end? No, only nine floors? There's no way, right? Thought the game broke. Oh, Bath! Me bring book! Oh, me bring book to master. So many books, thanks to you. It's Bath! Master? Oh, master. Could he mean. Oh, you're just chilling down here, Bath? Master waiting for you, back there. Okay. Oh, nice, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Is there anything in here? There's a compass. Some chains. Bloody bed sheets. Okay, okay. Can I open from this side? No. They just wanted me to walk around and see the horrors. Oh my god. What is that? Maybe I shouldn't blow it up, but... Um... Oh shit, it's What's-His-Face. I forgot his name already. It's been too long. Uh, what's his name? I don't remember. Uh, is this the end? I know there's a bonus dungeon, but... Ew. Oh, ah, here you are at last, Rosetta. How have I yearned for this day to come? Paracelsus. You're the guy I saw in the dreams Lethe gave me. How can you be alive? Alive? Don't be ridiculous. I'm dead. The damage my body took during the experiment that day was so great that even Azoth's powers of resurrection were insufficient. Of course, having willingly given my body for that experiment, I had already accepted my fate. Also, side note, is that Rosetta in the glass behind him? Do you see the white hair? That day? When? What happened? He sacrificed himself for Master's experiments. But how? No. Why are you here? What do you see before you is my astral form. That is to say, my spirit. Then why is your astral form still here? I must admit that I did not understand that myself. Not at first. The astral form should linger here for a short time before being drawn into the cycle of transmigration. Such is the rule of fate. And yet the fact remains that I have continued to exist. I have you to thank for that, Rosetta. M me Yes, you. This space is but an imitation of the astral realm. 
You could say that it's a sort of shell, independent from the workings of fate. It certainly has some surprising properties. For one, it captures and imprisons souls from the laboratory. Souls are normally supposed to move on, but those that are held within this space have been severed from fate's rule. All of the souls here, including my own, are thus trapped in a semi-permanent limbo. And the one who created this space was none other than you, Rosetta. Me? But how? I haven't... It's only natural that you wouldn't remember. After all, it was not your conscious mind that created it, but something deeper within yourself. The attachment you have towards this world is so strong that it has prevented your soul's rebirth. Come, surely you've realized the truth by now. You parted with the body Master gave you quite some time ago. What? No, that can't be. When could I have... Normally the lifespan of a homunculus is approximately six years. However, you are something of a miracle. I predict that your lifespan was once at least half of a person's. Note that I said predict. That is merely an estimate. After all, I died before you. You failed to recognize your own death, or no, I think it might be more accurate to say that you never tried to. The strength of your feelings created this place, since your death has allowed you to continue to wait for your master. Let's call this space the False Astral Realm. This False Astral Realm has enveloped the laboratory, and has continued to exist by capturing various souls. Since the barrier between this world and the astral realm is rather ambiguous, contact between it and the physical world is possible. And while it is a rare phenomenon, it is not entirely unheard of. For example, have we all not heard tales of people desecrating the tomb of a king from millennia past, only to find themselves horribly cursed? Those trespassers are, like us, pitiful souls who became trapped in the space created by the powerful nature of the ancient king's regrets. How could I have done something so utterly foolish? Fear not, for I will release you. I have continued to conduct my research for that very reason, in anticipation of this very day. And that research will soon be complete. But why? You're dead! What do you hope to achieve? There is but one thing I desire. You, Rosetta. Wh what is that supposed to mean? Up until now, the only thing that has motivated me to act is my honest curiosity about you. I seek to return you to the material world as one liberated from the rules of fate. To that end, I have prepared a vessel, the culmination of my work in life and in death, all for you. Ew. What? Huh? That's... Rosetta! Yes, this is the vessel that would perfect you. Rosetta, you are a homunculus the master created. Homunculi are supposed to be made by having an elemental spirit inhabit a prepared vessel in place of a soul. However, in your case, the soul of a person came to inhabit your vessel instead. This was nothing short of a miracle, albeit an imperfect one. The vessel could not contain your soul, you see, and so it was divided, split apart. This is the reason why you were never able to become a complete person, despite holding another soul within you. I... have a soul? A person's soul? Indeed, this vessel I have prepared, this ultimate vessel, will be the first of its kind, capable of flawlessly containing a person's soul. Do you think any other researcher could have dedicated over 1,000 years to research alone? Of course not! This achievement was only possible because I made it so. Me, who escaped the cycle of transmigration. What's more, I created this vessel using tissues I've collected from your body. It is perfection. All of your hair, sweat, spit, and parts I saved were very useful. Ew. You've had all this time. And this is what you've done with it? Indeed, this is everything to me. My entire reason for existing. And half of your soul? A 
Oh, that light! Despite the fact that she was but half a soul, I was able to acquire her for some time. It was only when she was weakened during the previous battle with the two of you that I was finally able to capture her. She's utterly pure. She knows nothing of what has transpired. The poor thing. How could you? Fight me, Paracelsus! I will fight you! I will return you to your original soul with my own two hands, Rosetta! Look at my creepy smile! Why? What would be the point? I cannot for the life of me understand your way of thinking. All I want is for my soul to join Masters. That is all. Unfortunately for you, Rosetta, the Master's soul does not exist within this space. Perhaps this is because his soul transmigrated long ago? I cannot say for sure. Wish all you like, but I very much doubt that your soul will ever be reunited with the Masters. No. Do not fret, for you are not alone. Once your resurrection is complete, I will create a new vessel for you in preparation for when your second form is routed away. The flesh matters not. By continuously exchanging your vessel for a new one, you will become eternal. You and I will soon transcend all other living beings. Why are you so obsessed with me? To go so far to extend my life, what is the point? If you were to fade from this world, my entire reason for existing would go with you. Finally become one. What? Oh, ho looks like she's raring to go, at least. As I'm sure you've already discovered for yourselves, she is prone to terrible violence on account of her purity. You do well not to resist. Now let the show begin. Oh, shit. Are we gonna fight Rosetta? My fragment. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn, is she gonna have a gun and a scythe like my Rosetta? Like, I'm just. Abrupt shifted music. What the hell is this? Incredible. She has created a space for the purpose of merging your souls. Ah, did you use Both as a material? No, what do you mean? Controlling the elements, living an internal existence, and yet also possessed of mortal feeling. Truly, this is the territory of the gods. Do you really believe that you can create a god? Such folly. Your soul will be punished with sin beyond forgiveness. What of it? If so, I will simply transcend divine punishment. It is far too late for me to turn back now. Proceed. Um, Rosetta? The fuck is this shit? No, okay. <laughs> I don't really get what's going on. But, you know what? I can tell that this is causing you a lot of pain. So, whatever you decide, I'll help you see it through to the very end. I would not have been able to make it this far by myself. I cannot begin to describe how reassuring it was to have you by my side. Milne. You truly are indomitable. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Ah, uh, there's no need for that. I couldn't have made it here without you either, Rosetta. And you know what? I think that your soul is your little sister. I think that's soul, whoops. So let's go save her together. Right. I got you, girl. Uh, poor Both. Did you just freaking use him as a? Oh, she's here. The girl is here. Oh God, it's upon us. The feast is upon us. I am scared. Oh, can I save? Just curious. Ignore, ignore the place where I just have some casual do 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 boo boo boo. Do do boo pow 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 pow. I just want to save really fast on the options so we get our shit wrecked. You know what I mean? Do do boo pow pow pow. 
Actually, you know what I might do? I forgot I have to cut in sort of me walking around and stuff. I'm trying to do shorter videos um, just because I think people like the 20 to 30 minute range. So, um, and I can see my full screen now. I realize I have a new TV and everything. It's so nice. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save here. And next time, because I have a feeling it may be like, you know, um, this is like the final boss before the bonus dungeon, then there might be some exposition, some long cutscenes, and I still have to fit in. I don't know how much time it's going to be for me to show you guys the sped up of me walking around. Oh, we're in room 99 all of a sudden. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to save here, and next time we'll fight the other Rosetta, who has two sides, which is kind of scary, but I'm excited for it. So... Thank you guys so much for watching and for your patience and for your support. You guys are the absolute best. And uh, as always, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.